Good morning, and welcome to Outsiders, the show that is to woke virtue signaling and identity politics on steroids, what the common good is to your individual freedoms. When you think about it, all law, all legislation is about the restriction of freedom. That's exactly what we're doing here, is we are restricting freedom, but we're doing it for the common good. You will see throughout our constitution, yes, you have rights, but they are restricted for the common good. Yes, that was Irish Greens Senator Pauline O'Reilly explaining why your freedoms are getting in the way of her political agenda. As a fervent climate alarmist, perhaps she'd prefer we simply stop eating, stop breathing altogether, you know, for the common good. If your views on other people's identities go to make their lives unsafe, insecure, and cause them such deep discomfort that they cannot live in peace, then I believe that it is our job as legislators to restrict those freedoms for the common good. No. Yes, let's all just pretend that men can get pregnant and lactate and that women have penises for the common good, of course. Now, it's a nebulous concept, the common good. Stalin figured out that he needed to drive Ukrainian farmers off their land if they weren't filling his government-mandated quotas for the common good. Yes, the Ukrainian famine, or Holodomor, saw untold millions of people deliberately starved to death 90 years ago by the communist officials as part of their socialist ideology of collectivization. <coughs> death by hunger for the common good. Can't wait to see what the socialists have in mind for us all next. Death by freezing due to government mandated lack of electricity, perhaps. But as you shiver under the doona this morning with only your latest electricity bill for company 